Today does not seem to look anything like 1989 when the internet started. Our lives revolve much more around technology and everything is getting faster and easier to get. You can feel that everything that's around you tries to converge in one spot. I'm sure that we are only at the beginning of this race of empowering people with information through technology. It becomes obvious that an important step in order to do this is bringing everything to the cloud. 10 years ago you needed to have everything on your PC. Now the most important app on your computer or laptop is of course the browser. This is why I bet that in 5 years from now everything will happen in here. Because of this I see huge potential in this tool that I've discovered. It's called Pixie Bricks. Pixie and Bricks. This is for sure my favorite Google Chrome extension. It enables you to build automation directly in the browser. It takes advantage of the user interface and it lets you extract data from the screen, modify the same data and even add new buttons on top of existing websites. Make any website look exactly like you need it. How crazy is that? So let me show you how easy it is to build something on it. Okay, perfect. So first we need to store somewhere the data. So I chose Google Sheets and I will create here a sheet that contains um, whatever name, but it's important to have the fields that we want to extract from LinkedIn. We will create here the button that we want to add to the page. So I will open the page editor and then navigate to Pixie Bricks. You need to have it installed for that. And now I've just added the button, adding, modifying the name of the button to add to Excel. Then add a component reader. You can search it in the search box in order to find it easy and add it as a brick. The component reader is actually the brick that helps us to extract the information from the page. So it's very important. We need to select the place from where the brick should actually get the data. I previously looked at the profile and I found out that a lot of the information in LinkedIn it's hidden in the name. You have the option here to press preview and in the preview section you can see all the data that's stored. It's a ton of information here. You can see if the profile has a subscribe button or, or not. Just add the final component using the Google Sheets already predefined brick in order to add to Google Sheet. Now it, you choose the sheet that we have created, the sheet name, and then we already have the properties that we've stored, but now we need to take them from uh, the component reader. So I will search by name because it's much easier. I know already what I'm looking for. So name, first name, you have it here. By clicking, I've just copied to uh, memory and now I'm just pasting the value. I will need to do the same for uh, the last name. Okay, so because we don't have a link in hidden behind the name, I will need to use another component reader brick in order to get the link of the profile that may be useful if I'm trying to do anything with this data in the future, maybe pass it to a UiPath robot, for example. So I will use the component reader to um, preview the data and search for the link. You can find it easily in target. Now copying the link, going back to add Google Sheet row brick and then pasting it here. And that's it. I'm just now saving and testing the flow. So press add to Excel, wait a bit. As you can see, it successfully ran at the action. Perfect. So we have the data already imported. Let's try and uh, check other profiles. So I will randomly take Shannon. You can see that she has the button, pressing add to Excel, waiting a bit. It successfully run. Let's see if we have the details. Okay, perfect. So we have it. It's working. Thank you very much, guys, for your attention. Talk to you soon.